rallies win it. 14-41 and counting now. And quarter number one, we are just underway at the Bayfront Center, the Tampa Bay Rowdies against the Milwaukee Wave. Paro drops it down. Deep left-hand corner in Milwaukee territory. Walters try to head it near the box, but it's taken away by Milwaukee and controlled by the Wave. Little Louis Bennett trying to win it around, but pick it up there by Solomon Hilton of the Rowdies. Tries to make his way down the boards, but getting in the way is Padilla. And the ball goes all the way back to the goalkeeper, Tony Pierce, who is back in the goal for the Milwaukee Wave tonight. Padilla now controlling a midfield. Drops it off across the red line on the right wing. Moving down the right wing for Milwaukee, Lee Rogers. He'll drop it back to Padilla. Now over to Sutherland on the left side. Ball dropped to little Louis Bennett of Milwaukee. Deep left-hand corner of Roddy's territory. Marked up there well by Walters. Pass inside the box. Rogers trying to make a move. It goes top side and Sutherland fired the shot. Top side of the arc went off the crossbar. And already picks it up on the second rebound. Tampa Bay Roddy's half possession. 13-44 and counting now in quarter number one. Nathan Sachs bringing it up. Now drops it off to Duncan McEwen who, as I said, now back in the lineup for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Nathan Sachs going off the field of play. Duncan drops it off the legs. Now back to McEwen. Good passing by the Rowdies. Now inside of Milwaukee Wave territory. On the right wing, but a nice tackle play made by Padilla. They're going to call the foul on Padilla of Milwaukee. So that in Milwaukee Wave territory. McEwen passes top side. Give and go. Jay White trying to drop it off to McEwen. He'll drop it back to Jay on the right wing, right side of the arc. His pass now goes deep to Mirabet. Deep right-hand corner marked up there by Sutherland and won by Sutherland. And Milwaukee Milwaukee will retain control. Louis Bennett now. Dribbling, passes off to Tony Pierce, the goalkeeper for Milwaukee. He's inside his box, standing there, top side of the box, looking pressure comes from Steve Wiggley. He'll drop it off to Eliotto in midfield. Milwaukee on the move now, moving right side. Control down the right wing. George Pastor trying to feed top side of the arc, but it's knocked away. Padilla will control. Check that Eliotto at midfield. For Milwaukee, pass now deep, right-hand corner, right side of the box in Roddy's territory. Milwaukee now kicks it inside the box, trying to head it in there, but good on Arnie picks it up. So the Milwaukee way, putting a little bit of pressure on the Roddy defenders here early on. Glenn Irvine controlling for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Drops it off to Mirabet, he loses control, and Milwaukee picks it up. Myers makes his way down, try to make the feed, top side of the arc, still picked up by Milwaukee and retains control of the field. Eliotto controlling just across the red line, feeds far side to little Louis Bennett. Bennett now makes the pass, left hand, quarter to pass door. He'll drop it back to the red line. Milwaukee fires, blocked her off the foot of Irvine and controlled her by Mirabet. Mirabet will bring it across, checks it up to the half hour, sends it far side on the right way to Jay White. Jay now comes off. And on the field, Derek Sanderson for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Paul Rowe will hold things up as the Tampa Bay Rowdies complete the line change. Nathan Sachs back out there. He'll try to drop the deep left-hand corner. Goes over the glass. We're going to take a quick 30-second timeout. 11.53 and counting here in quarter number one. Advanced week for girls only. If you need more information, call the Rowdies office. Shot kick left side in Rowdy's zone. The pass out, Bennett with the left foot of the shot, check that Delinsky. It's blocked inside the box, still controlled by Milwaukee. Padilla, right side of the arc, looking to fire it up off the boards and does. It goes high up into the air, off the plexiglass, black on the play of the field. Louis Bennett trying to win it, and the foul's going to go against Derek Sanderson of the Tampa Bay Rowdy. So that'll be one team foul apiece now as we approach the halfway mark. 11-28 in counting here in quarter number one. Sutherland controlling, passes over to Padilla at midfield, back to Sutherland, now back to Padilla. Milwaukee setting up the offense, trying to get the pass down deep, headed out of his own, and out of bounds by Paul Rowe of Tampa. It'll be a free kick near the halfway line for Milwaukee on the far side. 11-18 now. Tom, I think that... Uh, Fresh legs come in. Sutherland puts it into play. Stolen away by the Rowdies. That was really a tough loss. You, you really... You can't fault the Tampa Bay Rowdies. For goodness sakes, it's four games in six days coming back from Milwaukee the night before. And playing a team like the Chicago Shockers is never an easy task. Uh, they've won all five games now in the series. And I just think that, quite frankly, when you get down to the end of the line, you've got a little bit of time. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-eight left to go here in quarter number one. Milwaukee controlling inside of Roddy's territory. That's Rogers sends it top side of the arc. The shot fire goes wide right. And a fight for it off the board. Rogers trying to gain control. Nice tackle play made by Irvine, and Irvine wins it off the board. Now loses it to Rogers. Rogers tries to get the pass inside the box. It's dropped back and a shot on goal. And it's saved by Carlson. The shot by Lee Rogers, right side of the arc. But Arnie.
Everybody makes a run to the water and say. Folks, it's Sun Bank is a proud sponsor of Rowdy's Indoor Soccer. You will get the present time of taking the initiative and having all the shots. One of those types of situations where you really need to get a bucket of water and show up. See what happens here. Duncan McEwen controlling for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. 9.56 in county here in quarter number one. Just over the red line goes Irvine being marked up there by Jeff Rogers. His pass down to Sally. Right side of the arc. Check that left side of the arc. Marked up there by a couple of Milwaukee players. Gets it back to Irvine. Irvine making his way down the boards. We'll backtrack it near the red line and pass it back out to midfield to Duncan McEwen. Tampa Bay Rowdies now setting up the offense. Drops a deep right hand corner. Sullivan Hilton, the intended player for the Rowdies, but Sutherland right there to break it up, but right there to pick it up is Derek Sanderson, right side of the arc, making a move, that foot shot goes over the boards, possession will go right back to the Milwaukee way. Trying to get the ball down and control the ball. So we have to get those in every, every, yeah. every period. Yeah. Is it even, <coughs> you have to do even more during the, the away games? Oh yeah, all of them, oh yeah. You have to do more on the away games? No, 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 it's all the same. And <coughs> easy. Side of the arc there by Solomon Hilton goes off the glass and now controlled by Milwaukee. Bringing it up the field is Kanesik on the far side down the left wing. Milwaukee going to our right. The Tampa Bay Rowdies to our left. A nice yeah, tackle again. there by Sanderson. The ball dropped off to Sally. Now they can actually bring it up for the Tampa Bay Rowdies here on the near side on the left wing. Just across the half Walter. line there goes Walters. The pass to Timmy. Left side of the arc. Now looking shot fired and a block made by Aliotto. Goes back out to midfield. Nathan Sachs will control. He'll pass down to Jay White. Left side of the box in wave territory. They'll try to drop it back to Sachs. Right there to pick it up though is McEwen. Now back to Sachs in midfield. Now out to the half line and Wiggly. Wiggly with the high chip White. pass. White heads it. Now Aliotto heads it. White. Top oh. side of the arc. And Wiggly with the final shot of the score. Shot with his right foot, it went hard off Pierce, right back to Wegsy and the open shot, put it in the left hand side of the goal. Left to go in quarter number one. Now Lockheed will put the ball back and play the Bia controlling just across the half line. Now drops it off. And a nice tackle play made again there by Mirabet, but they're going to call the foul. Oh, Going down to the ground is Lee Rogers. And now Sutherland will put it in play for Milwaukee. Drops it off far side of Padilla. Now on the left-hand side, Lee Rogers making his way down the boards. Here inside the box. Nice play made there by Irvine. Knocks it away. But Louis Bennett right there to control for Milwaukee. Trying to make it top side of the arc. He'll pass off to Sutherland. He'll try to fire. Wiggly makes the block, and it goes off Wake's knee and out of bounds. It'll go right back to the Milwaukee wave. But nice tight defense there by the Rowdies. Well, I think that Duncan McEwen has re-injured his left knee. Um, you know, he missed last game and a couple of games prior to that as well. St. Right? Pete, where the Tampa Bay Rowdies lead the Milwaukee way by a score of 1-0 with 7.38 in counting in quarter number one. That's Rogers passes inside the box and a nice block. Set pieces against us. I mean, even including uh, the kickoffs, you know, we seem to be very vulnerable, um, you know, in those types of situations. We've really got to start working hard on that. Fannies, we'd like to remind you, if you're looking for a place to work out, run of exercise at the end, located at 4010 Gun Highway in Tampa. Milwaukee puts the ball back in, and the pass out to Medina right. It's a strong team, and I know that um, they feel that the more shots they have at goal, the greater chance they've got at sport. And, you know, the old blue the more should have, the greater chance you've got to the racket. Solomon Hilton trying to control inside the box of Milwaukee. It was taken away there by Milwaukee. Louis Bennett controlling. Drops it off to Sutherland. Now to Jeff Rogers to get and go. Louis Bennett down the left-hand side of Rowdy's territory. Marked up now by Solomon Hilton. Bennett will lose it. And picked up there by the Sutherland of Tampa. So the Rowdy's regain control. Paul Rowe now controlling. Off the pass from Sanderson. Full set of near side here to Nathan Sachs. Sachs out of his own third. Now in the midfield near the half line. Drops it off to Timmy Walters. On the line change now. Peter Rowe coming out. Tim Walters coming out. Walters now controlling. Passes it again to go. Jay White looking for Timmy. Timmy is knocked down. A push there. And now another bump. And Jay White's going to be called for the foul on Tampa. Well, look at Coca Cola Classic. So we've got three red, white, and Hopefully we can uh, keep our composure and not uh, get a power fight against us. 
Milwaukee controlling now at midfield. Irvine right. blocks the pass, trying to regain control and does. Sends it off the board to Peter Rowe. Peter Rowe will send it back to Arnie Mauser. 6.27 and counting. Tampa Bay Rowdy's leading the Milwaukee Wave by a score of 1 0 here in quarter number one. Peter Rowe now with the pass, the header to by Jay White, trying to find somebody coming from deep right side, but cannot. Goes right back to Peter Rowe, now to Weggs. Weggs just across the red line, making his way middle of the field, top side of the arc, drops it off to Mirabet. Mirabet moving off the board, right side of the arc, still dribbling, comes back out to the red line and will drop it back beyond the half line there to Peter Rowe at midfield. Peter now, long pass, left hand corner. He's got Weggs. Weggs trying to chest trap it, but cannot gets by him. And Milwaukee now trying to win it. Irvine right in the middle of everything, but now controlled by the Milwaukee Wave. And Irvine gets in the middle of that. And Pastor couldn't make a run for it. Now the ball loose, top side of the arc, and the Rowdies have regained control. And the Rowdies now controlling inside of wave territory. Jay White trying to make his way alongside the boards now goes deep. Left hand corner being marked up there by one Milwaukee wave defender. So he'll drop it back to Irvine at the red line. Irvine now dribbling, looking. Now drop it back to the half line of Wags. Now the pass back to Irvine just across the red line on the left wing. Mirabet set up at the point. Inside the box rolling is Jay White. Now the pass intercepted by Milwaukee. That's Moyers. Takes it away. Moyers, the pass drop back to Kadesic. And the Milwaukee wave now control. Delinsky just across the half line. Drops it across the red line of Moyers. Deep left hand corner. Passes back. Left side of the arc to Pastor. Pastor dribbling. Now he'll drop it deep left hand corner. Moyers is not there, but the Rowdies are. And Paul Rowe will control off the board. Being marked up there. He'll win it. And the pass goes off to Mirabet. The foul is going to go against Milwaukee. One of the things that happened here in the present time, one thing that I see the Tampa Bay Rowdies, when they lose the ball, they're closing the ball down all over the field. They're putting the ball down with a lot of pressure. Um, but on the, um, on the other Here's side of the court, it looks as though Milwaukee defensively are allowing the Tampa Bay Rowdies to come up to the halfway line with the ball without being put under pressure. And I think that's helping us a lot. And just as we pick up the action, Sanderson has intercepted, passes it far side to Solly. Solly just across the red line in wave territory. He drops it off to Nathan to give and go. Nathan with a shot, fire on top, son of the arc, left footed shot goes up the deal. So, you know, he's got a hell of a shot. I mean, he can kick the ball just as hard as anybody in the league. In quarter number one, Tony Pierce, the goalkeeper for the Milwaukee Wave tonight. He'll put it in play. Clock starting now. Tampa Bay Rowdies leading the way by a score of one to nothing. The pass back to Pierce from Padilla. He tries to find Bennett, but it's kicked back inside the wave zone by Tim Walters. Goes right back to Pierce. A lot of pressure inside of wave territory by the Tampa Bay Rowdies. They're marking a very tight inside. Pierce now will drop it off at midfield. Picks up Jeff Rogers. Rogers now is trying to make the pass. And intercepted by Sally. Sally trying to make the move, but he's got the foul. Tripping foul call on the Milwaukee way. Free kick coming, left side of the arc. Nathan Sachs putting it in play for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Passes it top side of the arc, looking there. And Sanderson trying to battle for it. He loses it momentarily. Sally picks it up. Passes off to Timmy. And the rebound shot. Off Timmy's shot. And a score by Sanderson. Drops it off the mirror by the midfield. Here they come again. Three across the half line. 
Honda sends it down across the red line to Jay White. Jay fires the left footed shot inside the box and on the far side was Irvine, but in the middle of everything was Alioto of Milwaukee. So the wave now will regain control as they come back on the center attack. Alioto across the half line. He'll drop it across the red line, goes by everybody. As Irvine lets it go, right into the hands of Artie Miles. He'll drop it off to Peter Rowe, now back to Irvine. Getting out side of his own third, now in the midfield. Drops it far side to Peter Rowe. Peter looking for some action, still dribbling, now passes across the red line on the right wing. To Wiggly, now back to Rowe at the half line. Now deep left, right hand corner. Looking there for Jay White, but picked up by Kadisic of Milwaukee. His pass was weak, but Milwaukee still controls. Delinsky over the half line. Now the red line. Top side of the arc feeds left side. And a left footed shot. And another great save made by Bowser. And another save made by Bowser. But the real shot came off the left foot of Kadisic. And that was a all-star save if we ever saw one from Arnie Mauser. The writers would like to thank Chili's Restaurant as one of their sponsors for the indoor season. Chili's Restaurant. They've been put to the test that often, but the, um, the times that he has been put to the test has come through really well. One minute, 51 and counting now in quarter number one. The Rowdies leading the Milwaukee way by a score of two to nothing. Nathan Sachs drops it down deep right hand. Quarter Walters pass inside. The box knocked out of there by Alioto of Milwaukee. Another shot fired by Paul Rowe off the rebound. Another pass far left side picked up there by Sanderson of the Rowdies inside a wave territory. Now the wave intercept. Dolinsky trying to get his foot on it, but Sanderson's right there. And another foul is going to be called, and it will go against Milwaukee. That'll be team foul number five on the wave and 129 left to go here. In quarter number one, Roddy's leading it by a score of two zip. Nathan Sachs putting it in play, left side. Now passes inside the box, headed there by Sanderson. Goes deep right hand corner. Walters will pick it up for the Roddy's. Still dribbling, now feeds top side of the arc to Sachs. Sachs will drop it down deep right hand corner. Selling there, trying to work his way. But Milwaukee right there to win her set. Eliotto drops the pass out to midfield, and Paul Rowe puts it out of play. We're going to take a quick 30 second timeout. Be right back. Roddy's leading this one by a score of two zip. 114 left to go in quarter number one. Uh, Tommy, how's it going? How's Duncan? That's correct. Yeah. It's a bit right? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I'll see you, mate. He was. There he is, walking along the, the top there. At the top. By, five, by the five and six, in the middle of the stadium. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just as we come back here to the Bayfront Center, what the Rogers, hell? that is Lee Rogers, sending Timmy Walters hard into the boards right in front of us at the half line. He'll get the blue card on the violation, and right they're going to have to take. Well, look very good. We're going to take ourselves a floating 30-second timeout as the officials fix the boards here at the Bayfront Center. One minute, six seconds left to go. Two zip the score. You're listening to Roddy Sucker right here on News Radio 97 WFLA. I just take a, I'll take a floating 30 while, and they'll just do a PSA, you know, it's like a public service announcement. I'll tell you what, small crowd, eh? Oh, Jesus. Hey, a score of two to nothing. Two minutes, they are in the power of play in Milwaukee. Will be one man down. Lee hey, Rogers Roddy's in the penalty box for two minutes. minutes. A chance to go Here comes three, the power three, play three. for the Tampa Bay Rodney's. Wegg sends the pass. Deep right hand corner. Timmy passes inside the box. Goes through the box. Nathan passes back on the far side. Picked up there by Wegg's right wing, right side of the arc. Drops a deep right hand corner. And Timmy puts it over the glass. Trying to make the pass inside the box. Got his foot underneath it. And it went out of bounds. Milwaukee will regain possession. Well, he's been a little disappointed as he scored in a couple of games. He went 12 straight. And and I think right now, you get him inside the box, he's going to be tough to beat. He's standing right there now in front of the crease. Tony Curves around right, on the break. Steve Wiggly. Steve Wiggly controlling from the body. He passes over to Peter Rowe. Now to Nathan. Nathan trying the shot, but right back there, the problem is to be of Milwaukee. He goes back. Peter Rowe picks it up. Right now, across the red line. Top side of the arc. Gets it right side of Edge. Edge now feeds it far side. Nathan winds up. Left footed shot at Padilla once again with the block. So Nathan looking for that left footed shot at it. 
a lot of opportunities and scored at will against Milwaukee in Milwaukee last time. Steve Beverly now will control past his far side to Nathan. Nathan now trying to regain control. Padilla right there to take it away for Milwaukee. 106 in body on the penalty. And Sachs with a nice tackle play. Goes back to Mouser. Mouser now gets it up and around. He's on attack inside of Milwaukee wave zone. Pass inside the box. Now got it there by the And that will do it. The Tampa Bay Rodders have taken a two to nothing lead over the Milwaukee Wave. Let's start the second period. Betty Rodders got his new shoes on. So two men down. So they've been over the first hurdle and let's just see if they can survive. Maybe it's now 48 seconds. Tampa Bay Rodders now controlling here as we open up quarter number two. Pass down deep right hand corner inside the box. The Mars trying to make the shot, but it's blocked there by Milwaukee and headed there. And now chest trapped by Rogers, but it goes right to Nathan on the left side. Left side of the yard. Now this side of Wegs. Wegs now fires the shot. And it's a high chip pass and controlled there by Pearson inside his own box. And he'll just clear it out. Peter Rowe will come all the way back inside his own third to pick it up for the Rodgers. Drops it off over to Nathan Sachs, left side of the arc, inside of wave territory. He'll drop it here on the near side of Walters, out of Wakes, back to Walters, out of Wakes as they try to move that defense, the Diamond D of Milwaukee. Pass by left side, Nathan pass inside the box, looking after Marsh, but Delinsky will pick it up for Milwaukee. He's on the run across the half line, drops it off to Jeff Rogers, right side of the box, fires off the board, and picked up now by Nathan Sachs. He'll get it out to Wakes as the Rodgers come back the other way. Wakes will drop it off to Marsh. Marsh across the half line, who's middle of the field at midfield, drops it off far side of Irvine, just across the red line, inside of wave territory. He'll drop it back to David Dodge, who's now out of the field. It's been a long time since we've seen number three in the Rowdy's uniform. Ball now down to Marsh, right side of the box, pass off to Rowe. Rowe with the pass inside the box. Padilla, the only player there. He'll drop it back to Pierce. Pierce will get it out for Milwaukee. Delinsky controlling. He'll hold it up as the Milwaukee Wave make their line change. We have a halftime score on that Canton-Louisville game. They are tied at one apiece. Well, I think that uh, Milwaukee um, survived that uh, power play, which obviously helps them out a lot. They're two goals down. It's uh, tough to be two goals down away from home. But I think they can quite easily at this stage been four goals down. <laughs> All things considered, they're in good shape. Exactly. John Delinsky, their new head coach, has picked up the two-minute foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, number two for Milwaukee. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout. Rowdy's having the power play when we come back. She's all right. Well, she's very in pink at the moment. She should be putting a green sweater on and playing with the way she controls that one. Exactly. Milwaukee now will control at midfield. That's Lee Rogers across the half line. Feeds Rogers. it far side. And Zabala with the shot inside. And oh, what a nice save. He'll get it out quickly. Mark standing on just across the half line. Looking, he's got three Milwaukee players to contend with. So he'll hold it up. Back heel pass. And right here is Peter Rowe. Going out of the near side of Wakes. Wakes right side of the arc. Looking, moving top side of the arc. Feeds it far side. Nathan winds up. Left foot and shut off the glass. It goes top side of the arc. And Wakes will pick it up. He'll drop it off to Peter Rowe. Go at the red line. Now at the special spot. Drops it off on the near side here to Wakes. Wakes looking. Drops it down to Walters. Deep right hand corner. Pass inside the box. And right there, Jeff Rogers to knock it out. Walker's looking there for Rodney Marsh, but 
to knock it out was number 12 of Milwaukee, Jeff Rogers. So I think that, um, you know, as far as these two power plays are concerned, I mean, we've only got half a minute left in this one particular power play, so, you know, we've played seven quarters of the power play, of two power plays now. And I just think that uh, the weakest that I've seen as far as we're concerned attacking on these power plays is that we've only got one player in the box at all times. We need to get more players, you know, inside the box. We've only got Rodney Marsh in there, and he should be getting some more help in there, I think. We'll see what happens here. Wegerly now controlling right center of the arc. Drops a deep right hand corner to Walters. Now back to Wakes. Left foot a shot across off the border. Taken away there by Rogers. Top center of the arc. And he'll just clear it out on the Milwaukee Wave zone. Arnie has to come all the way outside. About 10 feet. Left center of the arc. Heads it back to Nathan. Nathan now over to Timmy. Timmy fires from the left center of the arc. Now another rebound shot. And blocked. And now Nathan with another shot. Top center of the arc goes over the glass. Right back to Milwaukee. Well, the Milwaukee Wave have hung in there. They got lucky. Yeah, they're playing. You know, I won't say they're playing well. At least they're hanging in there, as you say. I think that's probably the right word. They're just about hanging on by the skin of their teeth. I think that uh, the next goal is a real pivotal goal for both teams. If we can get 3-0 out in front, I don't think we'll relinquish that lead. However, if Milwaukee get the one back, I think it's a very close game. Milwaukee was controlling and the rally is taken away. Full strength action now for both clubs. David Dodge out on the field for the Rotties. Passes over to Irvine. Irvine across the red line. Down the right wing in wave territory. Still dribbling now. Getting in the way is Kadisa of Milwaukee. Looks like he might have hurt himself. He's still trying to win it off the boards, but Irvine's right there for Tampa. Sends it far side of Mirabet. Mirabet now looking, dribbling. Left side of the arc. Now drops down deep. Left hand corner. And there's a double shot off the board. And somebody could have been on the right side. It was wide open, but Milwaukee picks it up. Warriors controls for Milwaukee, drops it down, deep right hand corner at Roddy's territory. Delinsky with the pass off the board, pan it out of there with a nice play made by Arnie. And the Tampa Bay Roddy's now control. Jay White drops it off to Irvine, and the Roddy's come right back. Irvine across the half line. Oh, and his pass now intercepted, a weak pass picked up there by Moers. Sally comes back as well as Dodge. Roddy's come back tight on defense. And it looks like Moers was just a little bit tired. It looked like he wanted to go anywhere. Florida Bank is proud to bring you this year's exciting Roddy's home schedule. We're the bank that knows Florida best. Somebody visit any of our 49 locations in Hillsborough or Pinellas County. First Florida Bank. Florida is our middle name. Out there running around just to, you know, as right as rain, it's great to see that. And he is our quickest player. Oh, we've out. And Wags, he and Wags, yeah. Wiggly, Wiggly controlling for the Rowdies inside of wave territory. He'll drop it back to midfield to Paul Rowe. He'll send it far side to Nathan Sachs. Now to Wiggs. Wiggs makes his way across the field. Now picked up there by Milwaukee as Wiggs loses control. Jeff Rogers trying to wheel and deal and does. Drops it off to Rogers. That's Jeff Rogers passing over to Lee Rogers. Lee Rogers trying to make his way top center of the arc, but the foul's going to be called, and it's going to go against Nathan Sachs for pushing. That'll be the first team foul for the Tampa Bay Rowdies here in Florida. Number two, 9.02 left to go. Roddy's leading two zip. Pass back from the top side of the arc. The shot fire, the rebound shot made again there by little Louis Bennett, but it goes wide left. Still headed inside the Roddy's zone third by Milwaukee. Sally's right there, tries to clear it back to Arnie, and Arnie just clears it over the boards with his head. It's going to go right back to Milwaukee. A little scary there. Well, you know, he took a, a strange kind of tumble when he went off the field straight away. Shot blocked. And just as we came back on that, Zabala made a firing right footed shot and Arnie came up and it was a hard shot. You can hear it all the way up here. Arnie made another save for the Tampa Bay Rockers. Now we, you're saying about Wiggs, what happened? Just getting back to that point again, there seems to be a lot of concern over there at the bench. Um, Steve has gone away from the immediate bench and gone into the locker room. I'm really not sure what the problem is, but he seems to be holding his wrist or something. Maybe he's broken a bone or something. I'm really not sure. I'd be interested to find out what it is. Well, we'll see at halftime. We hopefully will have an update. On Wags as well as Duncan McEwen. Milwaukee controlling right now in midfield. Delinsky drops it off on the near side. That's Boyers trying to control right there to mark him up and take it away as Nathan Sachs. His pass intercepted by Kanizic. Pass inside the box by Milwaukee. Knocked out of there by Sully. And here come the Rodgers. At midfield across the half line goes Walter. Marked up there by Kanizic. He gets back quickly. And Eliano picks up Sanderson. So that'll afford any breakaway effort there by the Tampa Bay Rodgers. Line change now being made by the Rowdies, and they will call a timeout. That was a 
All right, Rowdy's now controlling here with 7.38 in counting. Quarter number two, Irvine drops a deep right-hand corner. Chest trapped there by White, drops it back to the red line. A few row on the right side. He'll drop off far side of Irvine. Irvine inside of wave territory. Pass inside, the box gets by, and Pierce has to dive down for the save. Throws it out to Irvine. And Pierce tried to clear it out, but nobody is there except Irvine for the Tampa Bay Rowdy's. He'll drop it off to White of midfield. He in Peter turn Rowe. sets it over to Peter Rowe, now to Rodney Marsh. Rodney, the line changed Peter complete Rodney. now for the Rowdies. Here they come on offense. Irvine standing at the half line, passes to Marsh. Marsh now top, son of the arc, will bet the intended no player right there. He goes White. down, loose off the boards. Jay White tried a left-footed shot, it goes wide left. And picked up there by Delinsky of Milwaukee. He'll drop it off on the near side. Kadizic trying to make his way down the field, but the foul's going to go against Kareem Urabet. 6.52 in counting. Two team fouls on the Tampa Bay Rowdies here in quarter number two. Delinsky now controlling, fires inside, and it's a deflected shot. It goes off Irvine and goes wide left. Picked up there by Mirabet of the Rowdies inside Tampa Bay's own third. He'll drop it off to Irvine. Here come the Rowdies as Milwaukee drops back on the fence. Across the half line goes Rodney Marsh. He'll drop it off left wing. That's Irvine. Irvine looking, dribbling, nearing the box, drops it back to Marsh. Marsh now with the high chip pass. Top side of the arc looking for Mirabet over his shoulder goes past door. And the foul is going to go against Mirabet. That's the 13 foul on the Tampa Bay Rowdy. And what we understand is that Steve Wagerly has two dislocated fingers, but he will return in the second half. Two dislocated figures for Steve Wegerly. He will be back in the second half. 5.59. And counting in quarter number two. Roddy's leading it by a score of two to nothing. And they control just across the red line. Far side left wing. Selling it up and he tried to make the pass. And it's going to be a tripping foul. It's going to go against Milwaukee. That's their first team foul here in quarter number two. 5.49 and counting now. Free kick for the Rowdies just across the red line on the left wing inside of wave territory. I'll tell you what, this game already, I mean, there's still like five minutes and 49 seconds left in this particular period. It's been a very expensive game for us in terms of injuries. Ball row. Got to keep those at a minimum. Sacks with the pass inside the box. Kicked out of there by Morris. Bicycle kick. Now he'll chest trap it and regain control inside his own third. Marked up there by Walters momentarily. He'll drop it off to Alioto. Now back to Pierce as Milwaukee moves it up the field. Pierce will drop it off now to Moyers. Moyers looking pass across. Finds Rogers. Rogers across the half line. He'll drop it back to Kadiza. Still in midfield. Line change for the wave. Little Louis better coming out now. Louis controls. Looks like a small shift there. Rogers is out there. He doesn't look much taller than seven foot six. Three foot seven. And it's going to be a boarding call and a two minute foul and it's going to go against Nathan Sachs. Milwaukee was on the attack and Nathan kind of got caught behind and tried to make a tackle play and slam one of the wave players against the board. Well, that was what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago when we was in uh, the game. And, you know, we... And we for the look, mm -hmm. the horse the left. I know he's not sitting in that chair. <laughs> Back with you from the Bayfront Center in St. Pete. Rowdy's leading it by a score of two zip, but they're a man down here as Milwaukee is in the power play. And just as we came back, John Delinsky fired a left footed rifle shot, and Arnie made another all star save for Tampa. Milwaukee controlling, though, inside the Rowdy's own third. Delinsky now passes top side of the key to Moyers. Moyers speeds far right side. Rowdy with another shot, and a block made by Mauser and picked up by the Rowdy's and cleared out of there by the Again, another shot, fire, left foot, a shot, Arnie with another save, and a rebound shot, off the foot of Moyer, 
Myers, but it goes wide left. Roddy's Peter picking up. Rowe. Peter Rowe trying to make a move, but it's stolen away by Deliski inside by Roddy's territory. Feeds it far right side. Can easily control it. Does it top some of the arc? Nobody is there. And Pastor will pick it up for Milwaukee. Sends it far side. Can easily wind it up. Pass inside the box. Goes by everybody. And picked up there by Peter Rowe. He'll just clear it out of the Tampa zone. Three minutes, 35 seconds in County, 34 seconds left to go on the penalty to Nathan Sachs. Delinsky with another shot fired, a rebound shot inside the box and headed right there by Myers, but what a save by Mauser. Arnie Mauser, there's like two guys out there. Incredible. Now, man, a guy like that, you think this is good? He goes down to his knees for the save. Three minutes in county now in quarter number two. The ball cleared out of the Rowdy zone all the way back to Pierce and Peter for Milwaukee. And the penalty to Saxaw is now over. Rowdy's back at full strength. Milwaukee trying to control. Moyers trying to bicycle kick. Could have been a little high kick there. As Moyers circled around. No foul, no penalty called. Moyers now controlling. Deep right hand corner inside of Roddy's territory. Passes back to Sutherland. Ball loose now. Roddy's now controlling his Paul Rowe chest traps it and drops it down. And now we'll dribble it and send it over to David Dodge. On the near side as David makes his way up. The field of play holds it up momentarily at the half line. He'll drop it back to Paul Rowe. Rowe now to Nathan Sachs. Far side at midfield. He'll drop it across the red line to Roddy Marsh. Left side of the arc in wave territory. Now back to midfield to Nathan Sachs. 2 11 and counting here. In oh. quarter number two, Roddy's leading it by a score of two zip. Marsh now controlling across the red line, and Bennett's going to be called for the pushing foul from behind. Pushing is a call. It'll be a free kick for the Rowdy. There's a line on the present. So we have Sanderson, and we have Marsh, and we have David Dodge, three players that really haven't played that much for the Rowdy's. See what these guys can do. You know they're fresh. Rodney Marsh in there, feeds the top seven of the yard to give and go, but Sanderson falls down and Milwaukee will pick it up. Little Louis Benham makes his way across the half line. Dribbling, now looking, marked up there by Sachs. He'll feed it near side of Padilla. Padilla trying to get by Sanderson, and Sanderson's going to be called for the pushing foul. So the free kick goes right back to Milwaukee at the red line. Now Benham will control the midfield. Marked up there by Marsh. He'll back pedal across the half line near his own third. Milwaukee trying to make a move now. Now Benham will make his way across the red line. Sachs will pick him up. Top side of the arc. Fires left footed shot. Slow rolling around. He's right there. 137 in county. Here in quarter number two. Tampa Bay Rowdy's leading the Milwaukee Way by a score of two to nothing. With 127 rounds to go in quarter number two. Line change made and complete for the Rowdy's. Irvine back out there. Peter Rowe is there. Solomon Hilton, Jay White out there for the Tampa Bay Rowdy's team. As well as Timmy Walton. Solomon Hilton trying to control the Right in quarter number two. The back away. Pierce picks it up. The keeper for Milwaukee. And now Sutherland will control inside his own third. Drops it just across into midfield to Bennett. Bennett had a slow roller back to Sutherland. Jay White almost there for the interception. Now Sutherland's pass knocked around. It's loose off the board and it goes all the way back inside the way box and picked up right there by Tony Pierce. 53 seconds left to go now. And quarter number two. Rogers controlling. Sends it all in the first field. 45 seconds left to go now. Padilla trying to make his way. Right corner right there, but a nice defensive play. It was Timmy Walters trying to drop it off to Jay White. And then the foul call on the Tampa Bay Rowdies. That is five with 38 seconds left to go. And Padilla trying the shot from way out. And out, 37 seconds left to go. Two zip Rowdies. You're listening to... I don't think there's too many people out there with a stopwatch just checking you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 20 seconds left to go here before intermission. Tampa Bay Rowdy's controlling the midfield. Irvine picking it up for the Rowdy's. Drops it off to Rowan now looking for Solomon Hilton. Timmy Walters is there. Tops out of the arc, but it goes right by Timmy. Tony Pearson, Milwaukee will pick it up. Five seconds to go now. As the ball goes off the board, Arning will pick it up, and then they do it for 20 over two. So after 30 minutes of play, the Tampa Bay Rowdies have a team left. As we're ready to open up the third 15-minute stanza, this one, Milwaukee kicks it off. They regain possession. Rogers now, and midfield drops it off the minute. Now controlled by Padilla at midfield. He'll drop it off to Sutherland. Milwaukee still at midfield. Sutherland dribbling. Says it pass deep, left hand corner. That's Lee Rogers controlling. Marked up there and taken away by Sanderson. They'll drop it off 
is Solomon Hilton as the Rowdies come back on the counter attack. Charlie across the half line being checked up at the board and taken away momentarily by Rogers, but Solomon will drop it right back to Nathan Sachs. Sachs passes down in center wing territory. Sanderson deep right hand corner. Marked up there by Padilla. Rogers want to get in the way of the pass by Sanderson, but Sanderson gets it back to Sachs. Now to Paul Lowe. Lowe with the long pass. Finds Sally. Sally passes off his chest to Walters. Walters by the shot. Blocked there by Bennett and picked up by Milwaukee. Here goes Lee Rogers across the half line. He's got Jeff Rogers to his right. Sanderson running all the way down the field with him and slams him into the boards. I think the crew card's coming out of that it is. Sanderson is going to be called for boarding here. Early on in the third quarter, he will go into the penalty box. You're listening to Rowdy Sucker right here on uh, News Radio 97. Maybe help your Rowdy's out here. in the power play. Arnie having a little bit of difficulty trying to get it out. Now it does. Looking for Irvine. Finds Irvine. Irvine will just drop it in Milwaukee Waves on third and picked up there by Tony Pierce, the keeper. Set of the art there by Pastor. Picked up on the walk inside the box, but only comes down, grabs it, and takes it away. Warner's trying to wheel his way around, but only right there gets his long arms on it. And now we'll pull it out, and it will go all the way into Milwaukee territory. Good move there by Arnie. 109 left to go on the penalty to Sanderson. There goes Lewinsky. Passes here on the near side of Kinesi. Come in walking. Kinesi fires up off the bar. Picked in the header there by Morris inside. The box goes wide left. Morris now passes off the glass and only right there to cut it off. 53 seconds in play on the penalty to Sanderson. And Arnie tried to clear it and it went off the head of Sanderson inside the penalty box. I think that Arnie Morris' distribution has been tremendous. I think as far as it can out and out, shot Arnie's been tremendous. out on the field now for the Rowdies and you take a look at his heavily taped right hand. He has two dislocated fingers Not being but nice is in action. Duncan McEwen has re-injured his tendon in his left knee. He is out. Well, I don't think Steve Wagner is going to be writing too many checks in the near future. <laughs> and, uh, three line violation. The ball cannot cross all three lines in the air. Bring it back to the first you line. Know, and we've still got quite a few players left because uh, we just got to try and stay healthy the best we can. Faster. 32 seconds left to go now on the penalty to Sanderson. And a foul is called. It'll go against, against the, the Milwaukee. Rowdies. Check that the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Delinsky sets it down, tops into the arc, fires up, blocked by the Rowdies inside drive. the box. He's tried another shot. Pass to Myers and another save made by Mauser. Myers had the shot on goal and already saved him with his legs. All right, Brandy, we're getting there. We're getting there. 17 seconds now to go. 17 on seconds left. Really How you doing, Derek? Get the hell out of here. Across the red line, passes on the right wing to Kanizic. Kanizic down to pass door at the red line. Moves his way top side of the arc, feeds it left side. That's Delinsky. Delinsky looking, dribbling. Moves it top side of the arc, looking to fire it up. Passes inside the box. Nobody is there. Right, the right, 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 right,
game, but I think I've already got my player of the game in Biani Mauser right now. The guy has played tremendously well. The Rowdies haven't played that well this evening, I must admit, although they do demand, you know, command a two-goal lead. Um, outfield, I don't think we've played super well. So exactly. Ryan Mauser has come up with some tremendous saves. I mean, he's got a world-class save. He is absolutely incredible, and he's just been a sight to see the last month and a half, two months. Yeah. Milwaukee now controlling as they make their way inside of Rowdies' territory on the right wing. That's Kinesic. 10.59 and counting, quarter number three. Roddy's leading Milwaukee way by a score of two to nothing. And the interception now comes. Jerry White with a nice defensive play. Marsh now controlling across the half line for the Roddy's. Gets by a two. Milwaukee players and he, he stretched out as he loses his right shoe. And the foul is going to go against Kadesic of Milwaukee for tripping. And it might have been a good acting job. What do you think? <laughs> You never know what he's acting or not. Sacks off the wall. There's a lot of people listening into the game that have seen Rodney Marsh perform many, many times. Hey, as a reminder, the concession stands and beer stands are open on the upper and lower level for your convenience. Be sure to get your green and gold around these souvenirs are available on the West Arena entrance. Well, now he does a song. Saxon. Derek Sanderson tried to get the shot point blank, but it went over, and Milwaukee now regains control. And they are at midfield. That's Sutherland controlling. Drops it back to Padilla. Padilla now will try to drop it off to Rodgers, but nobody was there. Rodgers is saying, what is going on? Here go the Rodgers. He will try to make his way down, but behind him comes Lee Rodgers, and he'll knock it away, and Louis Bennett will control for Milwaukee. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Sutherland State now Park controlling. Park, an official sponsor of the Tampa Bay Rams. At midfield, parked up their byways. Sutherland trying to get the pass. He finds Lee Rogers, deep right-hand corner. And row, I believe, is going to be called for the foul. That he is. That will be the third team foul. On the Rowdies. Milwaukee puts it in quickly. But they block it. As the brother of the Rowdies block it. Jay White is going to legs. Legs now on the near side of Irabed. Irabed is look. Now fires back to Irvine, Irvine, just across the red line. He'll shoot the shot, goes wide right, and Jeff Rogers will pick it up for Milwaukee. He'll drop it back to Pierce, 9.47 in Johnny, one of the three, two zip the score, Rowdy's leading Milwaukee. Suffered in the first half, tough old boy. Intense type situation. Walter. G. White. Haven't come out passively, but they've come out sort of like, um, Irvine. Really taking the game by by the horns is what I'm trying to say here. And um, I think that Boyers. if we can just pick it up, it's he's got it. It's one of those types of games where I think that this team will walk in. You know, don't be caught up in the snow this game. Let's see what happens here. They got the breakaway going. That's left good. side pass inside the box. He should have fired it up, but does not. And Irvine clears it out for the Nathan Sachs, Paul Rose, Sullivan Hilton, Derek Sanderson. And Peter Rowe. Check that, Timmy Walters. Delinsky will put it in play for the Milwaukee Wave here. At the touchline, left side, drops it up. Tops under the arc, looking for Eliotto, and does. Eliotto fires inside the box, taken away there by Paul Rowe. Now drops it off to Solomon Hilton. And around he's trying to make a move, but Kanisic right there to afford it all. He'll pick it up in midfield and drop it off to Delinsky. John Delinsky controlling, trying to get the pass inside. Knocked away there and right back to Arnie Mauser as the point defense is there for the Rowdies. Nathan Sachs. Nathan Sachs now makes his way across the half line on the left wing, trying to make the pass, but it's headed right back back. near the Rowdy zone and picked up and regained possession by Nathan Sachs. He makes the pass to Sally. Sally will drop it right back to Nathan at the half line now. Pass. And the header there by Walters. And what a pass it was. And what a nice header there by Walters. And Pierce right there to get his hand on it. Great looking play. Teamwork. It's important to the Rowdy's and the GTE. GTE's team of quality people are working together to bring you the telecommunications you need. Well, there's a tremendous it was nice to see that. Rodney Marsh will be putting it in play for the Rodney's. He's got Paul Rowe to his immediate left, Nathan Sachs to his far left. Timmy Walters breaking inside the box. Pass to Timmy and a shot, and it goes wide right. That play has been set and designed. They've scored on it before. Nathan now with the pass inside the box, looking for Timmy. Knocked out of there by Milwaukee. Paul Rowe controlling the midfield. He'll drop it down inside of Wave territory, and Timmy's going to be called for the foul. And unbelievable, because he never even got an elbow. He tried, I think he tried to throw the elbow at Eliotto, and Eliotto just did the acting job, and the foul's called. Milwaukee regains control, but they lose it right away. And the Rowdies regain control as Nathan Sachs picks it up inside the Rowdies' own third. Definitely an interesting foul right there. It looks to me as if uh, we have a bunch of actors on the field in terms of some of the players. And, uh, 
you know, the, the, the referees are just not seeing this acting. You know, it's like um, Muhammad Ali, the things that he used to be able to get away with in boxing. Incredible. See Wegley now with the pass to Jay White. And now Aliotto will send the pass up. And there's a foul off the ball. And Kanizic scored the foul. Check that, the penalty, a two-minute penalty. And down on the ground went Jay, or is that Sanderson? Now check that, that's Mirabet. I think he got it right in the solar plex. And the foul's going to go against Kanizic of Milwaukee. It'll be a two-minute foul. And it's also going to go against Mirabet. Both players sent to the bench. So both teams will be down one man, 4-4 four, four on the field. We're going to take this 30-second team. What the hell happened? I mean, the penalty box. Hopefully, it's not going to be too harmful to the crowd as yet. We'll see what happens. 747 left to go. Quarter number three. The Wave and the Rowdies have four All players right. apiece. One, one in the penalty down. box. <laughs> Moyers controlling for Milwaukee in midfield just across the half line. Trying to make the pass. Jay White intercepts. Peter Rowe will pick it up. One of the Rowdies drops it off to Wade. Wags across his own third in the midfield, now across the half line, moving down the right-hand side, looking to go through two Milwaukee players. Pass is top, suddenly right, right. Jay White cannot control, now regains control, left foot is shot and blocked nearby. To the end, picked up by Pierce. Pierce is out of position, and Jay just came out of the game control, trying to left foot and shot by that time. Padilla comes to the left block. That was a beautiful play by Steve Wagner, he took two players on, and just his mere speed, his grease lightning speed, got him by the two players, passed it inside to Jay White, who was Straight away besieged by the goalkeeper, and he made a, a, a real good move by the goalkeeper. Unfortunately for uh, for Jay, out well, comes the defender who blocked the shot. Comes back to Padilla. Milwaukee now controlling at midfield. Drop it down, Boyer. deep left hand corner. That's Moyers. Moyers marked up there by Irvine, trying to make his way. Left side of the arc now. Back pedals out near the red line. He'll go all the way back into midfield and drop it off to Padilla. Padilla. Milwaukee. Trying to get some offense going. They have it all the well now with the interception for the Rodies. They'll drop it off to Irvine as the Rodies now push it up the field towards Milwaukee wave territory. Irvine trying to back heel pass it, but Jeff Rogers now picks it up. He's got Kinesic to his left. Check that Moyers. Now to Moyers top side of the air. Can by Lauser for the goal. And what happened there was Rogers sort of got a, got a nice pass over to Moyers. It's still 2-1 Rodies. I didn't want to say that was going to happen. However, you know, Milwaukee has cut the Rowdies' lead to 2-1. Right, in fact, uh, both games that have been played here at the Bayfront Center against Milwaukee have gone into OT. And if I remember correctly, you sent that 100-foot shot to win it against Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people were here to see that one. Nathan Sachs now controlling for the Rowdies, sends it far side of midfield at the half line to Paul Rowe. Tim Alters now. Right Paul. side of the box, back to Paul Rowe. Paul will drop it, left-hand corner, looking for Sanderson, marked Sanderson. up there and taken away by Rogers of Milwaukee. Ball now off the board. Sanderson trying to regain the win and does. Now Timmy Walters goes down and it looks like he got kicked in the leg. No foul. Yep, foul called against Both teams are back at full strength now. Both teams now back at full strength as the penalties are over to Kinesic and to Mirabet. Free kick for the Rowdies. Pass to Sachs. Sachs fires and just goes wide right as it curve to the right. Curve the other way and we're going to go to Rowdies. Paul Rowe now feeds it over to Nathan in midfield. Body's trying to make a move. Nathan now looking, sends it deep left hand corner off, off the boards. Board. Walters now gains Maybe control, Walters. left side of the box in wave territory. He'll drop it off to Sachs. Sachs will pass it off the board. Fires it all the way across the box, and now picked up by Pastor of Milwaukee. That's a nice play. We call it dumping. Fantasy Rowdies like to walk to the fight, folks. It's sudden. It's a crowd sponsor of Rowdies indoor soccer. You really can't afford to get caught in possession of the ball. So he dumps it into the corner. Um, you know, it's a practice that's quite you see quite frequently in uh, in ice hockey. I think it's, it's, it's a good tool to have in your bag if you know playing this indoor this indoor game. And Nathan Sachs is, uh, has been doing that quite a lot this evening, and it's been you know, been been doing quite a lot. Four minutes, 53 seconds and counting here in quarter number three. Roddy's now holding a precarious two to one lead over the Milwaukee Wave here at the Bayfront Center. Irvine, Irvine out of row, row just across the red line on the left wing inside of Wave territory. He'll drop it down, lead left hand corner, Mirabet off the board. Finds Jay White out past the row, and this one clears over everything. It'll go away of players. So we're going to take ourselves a 30 second timeout. Be right back. You are listening to Roddy's soccer. Woo. Yeah.
That's good. We've been lucky. <laughs> We've been really lucky. Really coming through. Coca Cola Classic. Red, white, and blue. Tom Cohen and Mark Lindsay back with you from Bayfront Center in St. Pete. 2 1 the score. Roddy's leading Milwaukee. The Rowdy's put it in play. Irvine sent it off the glass, and Milwaukee will regain control of midfield. Delinsky now gets the pass to Kanizic. Kanizic now backs into his own third, looking and probably will drop it back to Pierce as he's being defended there by Sally. Now he wheels around, sends it to Pastor. Pastor inside of Milwaukee's own third. Now to Elioto, having a lot of problems, making a lot of passes down, trying to dribble it through. Now picked up by Sanderson. Look as if things were going to happen that way. And just as I say, that Milwaukee regains control. Delinsky at the half line. Drops it across the red line, trying to win it there is Irvine. Irvine falling. Right over Pastor, who's going to get the call? It's going to go. Check that there was Boyers. Irvine wins the call, and it's going to be the fourth team foul on Milwaukee here with 3.59 left to go in quarter number three. Irvine across the half line, trying to look for Sally. Goes off Sally's back heel, picked up Irvine. by Irvine. Irvine looking, sends it off the glass, top side of the arc now. Walters trying to regain control. Keep on in, corner pass inside. Oh, Another one. Check that Irvine. Check that Sanderson. Sanderson with the shot. Goes off the crossbar. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Come on, man. Let's make it 3-1. Great match. 20 seconds in counting now. Quarter number three. Roddy's leading Milwaukee by a score of 2-1. to one. Legs controlling inside of wave territory. Back heel pass, looking for Paul Rowe. Paul stopped him. Right there was Jeff Rogers of Milwaukee. He'll drop it back to Tony Pierce, the keeper of Milwaukee. 304 in County now. And quarter number four. 14 fouls for the Rowdies. 3 4 Milwaukee. Now under three minutes to play. Rowdies leading by a score of 2 to 1. Across the half line goes Padilla. Padilla trying to drop it down deeper inside the Rowdies zone. Nobody is there for Milwaukee. So Nathan Sachs now will pick it up and bring it into midfield for Tampa Bay. Nathan now sends it. Deep right-hand corner. Legs has got it inside of wave territory. Trying to get the pass off the board. Hits the referee's foot. Now taken away by Milwaukee. Lee Rogers makes the pass to Jeff Rogers. Jeff Rogers trying to make a move. Moving back towards the half line and does. Now Kadesic will pick it up. He'll send it here on the near side. A little Louis Bennett. Louis Bennett at the half line. Looking, standing around. Now looking, dribbling. Sends it back here in his own third. Now send a long pass, deep left hand corner on the run is Sutherland. Sutherland now picks it up right foot and it goes wide right. The shot by Sutherland went wide right. Now picked up by Lee Rogers off the wall. And now passes out to Bennett. Bennett, top of the point, looking for Jeff Rogers. Taking away momentarily. Louis Bennett with the rebound. And Bernie Moss made another great save. Two of them. The ball loose inside the box of the run. He's taking it out of there. Holy mackerel. That was something. Another shot fired as Lee Rogers stole it away by the walk for Milwaukee. And another save there. Bernie Moss is an all-star goalie. I don't know who he is. Incredible as little Louis Bennett got by. I believe it was Nathan Sachs. Fell down. Got up. Arnie was down. Made the save. Made two saves. It looked like Milwaukee was going to tie this one up. The thing there, Tom, was that um, Milwaukee had two players against Arnie Mills. You know, I mean, it was just Arnie versus two players. I mean, it was like, it was tremendous play. Milwaukee controlling, putting a lot of pressure on the Rowdies inside their own third. Padilla now, right side of the arc, will back it up near the red line out of midfield, drops it off to Sutherland. He's dribbling, looking, drops it back to Padilla at the half line. Padilla trying to make the pass to right there in there for the interception. They'll move it up. Nobody else there to help out. Now Mirabek comes up. Right side, just across the red line. They're going to make the line change now. Drops it back. Yeah. We'll pick it up for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. He in turn tries to find Sanderson. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Sanderson looking left. But a shot goes off the board inside the box. Cleared out of there by Sutherland. Now to Jeff Rogers. As the walking next to the way back up the field to play. And the foul is going to be called against Tim Walters' attempt. Well, both teams have four thousand. The Rowdies are like to take Chili's restaurant. No place else is Chili's. All right, Milwaukee controlling. Across the half line goes Elioto. He'll drop a deep right-hand corner. Moyers right there to control for Milwaukee. Marked up by Peter Rowe. He'll get the pass off to Kadizic. Back to Moyers on the give and go. Pass inside the box. The rebound shot. And it goes wide left off the box. Off the board. Check that. That's Delinsky. Going to make a pass inside the box once again. A pass door knocked out of there. Off the glass. Now back on the field. And Milwaukee will regain control. 
18 seconds left to go in quarter number three. Kanisic, right side of the arc, marked up there by Walters, trying to make the pass inside the box, the whistle, and the foul, and it's going to go against the Tampa Bay Rottings. That's five team fouls on Tampa Bay with 12 seconds left to go here in quarter number three. Free kick coming, right side of the arc for Milwaukee in Roddy's territory. That's Moyer, sends it far side, left footed shot there by Eliotto, and it's blocked by his own player, Delinsky, inside the box. Six seconds now left to go, quarter number three. Sanderson on the break, he's got Sally inside the box. Sanderson with the shot, Pierce with the save, and that'll do it for quarter number three. So the last three or four minutes, one action on the belt. It was sort of a weak first 11, but the last four was fast and furious, and I guess the final 15 will be the same. The fourth and final period. Roddy's leading two to one. All right, quarter number four is underway. The Tampa Bay Roddy's half possession. Peter Rowe sends it inside of Milwaukee territory. Tom Cohen and Mark Lindsay, Mike side here as we have 14.52 left to go. And quarter number four, Roddy's winning the Milwaukee way by a score of two to one. And just as we say that, Milwaukee intercepts, controlled by Sutherland in midfield. He'll drop it off to Padilla. Padilla now to the near side to Jeff Rogers. Milwaukee going to our left. Tampa Bay Rowdies to our right. Pass inside the box. Sutherland trying to make the sliding shot, but only right there for the save again. And he gets it out to Weggs. Weggs will drop it off to Peter Rowe at midfield. Peter across the half line. Finds Mirabet. Mirabet backpedaling. We'll send it back inside the Rowdies' own third. Arnie will pick it up. Use his foot, dribble out near top side of the arc. Now near the red line. As he makes his way up the field. Still looking, he'll drop it off to Peter Rowe to his right. Peter now across the half line with the pass to Wiggs. Back to Peter, now the long pass, deep left-hand corner. Left side of the box, Jay White trying to regain control. It goes right to Irvine, and Irvine will send it back to Peter Rowe. Pass, top side of the arc. Headed there momentarily by White. It goes by him right into the hands of Tony Pierce. And he'll drop it off to Bennett for Milwaukee. 13.47 and counting, quarter number four. Milwaukee has the ball, but they're down 2-1 to the Rowdies. Alioto controlling a midfield, marked up there by Mirabet. Alioto. Alioto still dribbling, looking. Left footed pass goes over the boards, and with that, we're going to take a floating one minute timeout. You're listening to Rowdy Soccer here on News Radio 97, Double Left Boys and Girls Clubs programs to attend Rowdy's Indoor Soccer. Thanks again, I didn't get it into the third quarter. Good. Don't start it. Don't start it yet. Okay. 40 seconds. We return. Arnie, hold on to it for a while. Drop it back to him, Nathan. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Off the wall. That was great action. Yeah. <clears throat> Back with you at the Bayfront Center in St. Pete. We now have 12 minutes, 49 seconds left to go here in quarter number four. The Tampa Bay Rowdies have picked up their first team foul here in the final stance of a play. And Milwaukee controlling a midfield, but it's dropped right back to Mauser. Other Rowdies will take it inside his own box and in turn make the pass to Nathan Sachs as he makes his way outside of his own third. Checks it up at the red line now over to Paul Rowe. He's now in midfield here on the near side. Dumps it off the boards, looking and finding Jay White. Jay White wheels off the board, but taken away there by Milwaukee. The pass up to Moyers across the half line. Moyers. He'll have to hold things up as Milwaukee makes their line change. Milwaukee backpedaling, tries to make the pass back inside his own third. Almost dropped it off to nobody but Rodney Marsh, but right there to pick it up was Padilla. He gets it over to Kanizic. Milwaukee's still inside their own third. Kanizic now will drop it back to Tony Pierce. Pierce trying to get it across the half line. The only person he finds is Peter Rowe. Rowe trying to make his way upside the boards. And finally the foul is called. No question about that one. We're First floor tied one apiece in the team's ball category. 1158 left to go. Soccer is big in the Tampa Bay area, just like First Florida, with 49 locations in Hillsborough and Ellis County. First floor to bank. Florida. I'm just thinking, well, if it gets down to the wire, we can always play a goal kick. Place in the right time, and number eight gets his point, and 
Frank is his goal as the Rotties take a 3 to 1 lead over Milwaukee. Rotties will switch to the number 7 rookie, Steve Wiggerly. The goal to number 8, Sir Rodney Pumpkin. 3 1 Rotties. Okay, it looks like it's 30 seconds, 47 left to go. You're listening to Body Soccer here on News Radio 97 WFOA. because right there was Wiggs on the rebound, he would have scored. Steve Wiggs, he goes down the boards, again he uses his speed. The guy that puts him under pressure, he just plays a one-two off the boards and uh, just blows by the guy. I mean, it was tremendous. Beautiful play there by Wiggs. And now the ball goes all the way inside the Roddy's own third. And controlled by Paul Rowe. Off the pass from Nathan Sachs. Line change being made. For the Rotties, half line change right now. Sanderson to Paul Rowe. Now to Nathan Sachs, still a midfield near the half line. Paul will send a high pass. It'll be headed there by Padilla, picked up by Sully, tops of the yard, fires it up, and it goes over the goal of Milwaukee. Ten. Well, the goal, let's take another 30 second time. I'll be right back. Soccer right here on News Radio 97 WFLA. You have to put a lot of those in Fanny's somehow. Fanny's would like to extend a happy birthday to a very dear Fanny. This is Gene Cheetah. Happy birthday, Gene. Gene Cheetah. Thanks for spending it with us. A lot of them in. Huh? It seems like you have to put a lot in. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, there's a lot. <clears throat> Ten minutes exactly left to go here in quarter number four. The Roddy's trying to make their way up midfield, but... Intercept there was Pastor. The foul is going to be called against Derek Sanderson, but Pastor gets it in very quickly. Linsky trying to find Alinsky and does. Alinsky now fires left footed shot inside the box. The pass looking for Moyers, and there to cut it off was Paul Rowe. In case you just joined us, missed a lot of action here in the last 20 minutes or so. Roddy's lead the Milwaukee Way by a score of 3 to 1. We have 9.37 left to go here in quarter number four. Irvine drops it inside That's away the territory. Right side of the arc to pick it up. Number 13, Kevin Walters. Walters now will drop it back, back to midfield. Peter Rowe's very content, looking for that good shot. Peter Rowe now sends the pass, drops it down deep left hand. Corner looking for White, but intercepted there by Milwaukee, and here they come on the counterattack. Moving down the left lane, that's Kinesic across the red line, now feeds it to Boyers. Boyers trying to shot, and he whipped it. Got his foot right on top of the ball, and it just rolled right into the hands of Arnie Mauser. He just found on that ball. Benny, be sure to get your value That's a lot of high play, I know that. I went out and hit four balls the other day, and I haven't played in three and a half. Once in a week, thank goodness I was hitting into the ocean. <laughs> this is where I belong anyway. You know, I think that people, you know, look at this league and think that the, the players are, you know, not that great. But, um, you know, the people that are out there, the people in the Tampa Bay area, you know, know people like Annie Mauser, top quality goalkeeper. You see people like Steve Wegley out there. There's a lot of big names that are actually on our team. And I think if you look around the league, there are quite a number of good quality players around. And I think if you if you think about that, it just the stars come out and watch it down, I'm sure that you'd really enjoy it. Well, I agree with you wholeheartedly on that one. I know my folks are in here from Chicago. They spent a couple of months down here in Florida. They're in the stands tonight. They've been to five Roddy games. They've gone to Chicago. They've gone to Milwaukee to see it. They've come down here. And this is their first taste of indoor soccer, and they absolutely love it. Telling me that they're going to buy a house right next to the stadium, right? So they can just walk across. No, they're going to buy the stadium. <laughs> I need a lot of room. Eight minutes, 18 seconds left to go. In quarter number four, I'm just kidding. I don't want any, all the city council people in St. Pete to be up in arms right now. 
All right, 8 uh, 13 now in County, quarter number four. Peter Rowe bringing it up at Peter midfield, Rowe. drops it down in the box of Milwaukee. Pierce, the keeper right there, picks it up. Clears it out to Bennett at midfield, Bennett across the half line. Now sends it to Jeff Rogers, left side of the box, now left side of the arc as he back pedals his way near the red line. Inside of Raleigh's territory, he'll drop it off to Sutherland. Sutherland now with a shot inside the box. Knocked away there by White, picked up by Wiggs, he'll drop it off to Mirabet. Mirabet now dribbling, sends it across the half line. Now the line waiting for it is Jay White. Jay will make his way, top side of the arc, beats it to the right side of Mirabet. Mirabet off the boards, and Jay White with the header, and he just missed it. So close. Sutherland now controlling for Milwaukee, 7.30 and counting here. Tony Pierce to Padilla at midfield. Padilla will drop it off to Knizic. Knizic across the right, uh, half line, rather. Drops it off to Delinsky, still in midfield. He'll get it inside of Roddy's territory. The pass to Moyers. Moyers on the give and go to Delinsky. Delinsky making his way deep left hand corner marked up there by Paul Rowe. Delinsky still controlling. He'll drop it back to Kadizic. Kadizic's pass goes off the chest of Jay White right back to Kadizic. He has possession of midfield. His pass now to Padilla. Far right side, makes his way deep right hand corner. Check that. That is not Padilla, that's Zavala in for the first time. He makes his way all the way down the boards, but Arnie right there to pick everything up. Clear it out for the Roddies. And Paul Rowe trying to make the pass, looking for Timmy, but Timmy checked up. And picked up there by Alioto. To Kanesik, now to Delinsky inside of Roddy's territory, left side of the arc. Delinsky now wheels and deals, fires the shot, Arnie goes down, makes another great save to his left. That was a nice move by Delinsky. Delinsky. He's probably come up with about 20 top class saves this evening. He's playing ever so well. I mean, hey, the goalkeeper out there, probably the Milwaukee goalkeeper. Let's put it this way, the Milwaukee goalkeeper will probably need six goals a winner. I mean, Arnie has been playing phenomenal. Gonna check that guy's pulse. That's what I want to know. I mean, if he's beating the 60, 60 beats per second, I want to know because I mean, this guy's bionic. It's incredible. Six minutes left to go. Quarter number four. Milwaukee controlling. They might get the rally spotted on line of change. And they do. Delinsky with the pass inside the box, but clearing it out of there was Peter Rowe inside his own box. And we have ourselves an official's timeout. Whew. Lindsay back with you at Bayfront Center. Rowdy's leading the Milwaukee way by a score of 3-1. to one. We'd like to remind you, you want to catch some Rowdy's highlights, why don't you do it on Soccer World with host Mark Rorty. This week's guest is Tampa Bay Rowdy's player David Power. You can see this on Jones Cable. That is here in Hillsborough County and then Group W in Pinellas County. That is Soccer World, hosted by Mark Rorty. His guest this week, David Power, who is coming off that back surgery. Back to action now, 5.41 left to go. Milwaukee controlling inside of Roddy's territory. And the back to the Tampa Bay Rodgers. That puts them in a one-man down situation, and they really can't afford that now. Last time that happened, it was up in Milwaukee where the Rodgers came up with... Uh, check that, that was here. No, it was in Milwaukee where the Rowdies came up with two quick goals, one by Weggs, and I forget who the other one was scored by, but they pulled Pierce out and they lost that one by a score of five to two. Yeah. Milwaukee now controlling Moyers getting by. Peter Rowe, his shot fire. Peter comes right back and blocks the shot. It's the shot by Moyers. Well, Stevie Moyers has been around, you know, he knows how to play the game. So. I have a guy that's been around even longer than me, which is hard to see, and that's Peter Rowe. I think he's been around since about 1973. Steve were really bad. Uh, Peter Rowe came up with a better end there. Final score again for Louis. Rowe's now controlling. Passes inside the box. The ball's loose, and Pierce was out of position, but they knock it out of there. Now they've got themselves a break away. Look out now as Moore's trying to make the pass, and who's right there? But Wags as he died. Dislocated fingers and all. Out to Marsh. Marsh now in side of wave territory, right side of the arc, trying to make his way, make his move, top side of the arc. Still looking, still dribbling. Kalinski trying to take it away. Marsh will now drop it back to midfield and controlled there by Nathan Sachs. Sachs now to Timmy Walters. 
Walters will drop it back to Arnie Mouser. 4.35 and counting here in quarter number four. Roddy's leading Milwaukee by a score of 3-1. to one. Sacks now passes to Marsh. Marsh on the move. Left wing, left side of the box. Feeds off the board and taken away there by Moyers. Third out and Sanderson will pick it up for the Tampa Bay Roddy's passes to Paul Rowe and his shot goes off one of the way players. It'll be the Thunder have defeated the King. And people have various opinions about Elvis Comrie, but I've never seen a guy who can has such good foot speed and is able to control the ball and move so quickly down the field. What do you think about him? Us. They can raise their game to us, but then they can lose to, you know, to teams like Milwaukee, let's say. Um, you know, they concern me a lot, too. I think we've got... Well, Chicago, on the other hand, they play pretty well on the road. They play well at home. And I think the biggest asset that Chicago has, and it's not really an asset when you take a look at the ledger books, but you go in there to play, and there might be 500 people sitting in the stands out there in Chicago, and every time we've been up there, there's been six, seven feet of snow, <laughs> and nobody can get out and see the game. <laughs> The good thing with, uh, with Chicago, and that's what I'd like to see, I think that if you could play to, to our standard all the time, you know, more consistent, we wouldn't have a problem with anybody in the league. Unfortunately, you know, we're, 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 we're very inconsistent in terms of our level of performance. Where she can go up in there, you know, probably an above average team, but they're very, uh, you know, they play to that standard all the time. And, and that's what's, you know, winning them games against us. The final 307 left to go. And defender Peter Rowe, Tim Walters, the midfielder, and Steve Wegley, a forward. And then following that, immediately following also, the very next night at 530, it'll be the Tampa Bay Rowdies against the Toledo Pride in Toledo. That will open a two-game road, road stand in six days. Right now, Milwaukee is controlling, and they get it inside the box, and the shot right there made by Moyers. And Arnie Mauser went down to his knees to make another save. They have pulled. They've got a feed inside, and the shot was fired up, but Phelps couldn't put it in. Well, uh, she's one step ahead of me. Your grandma's a lot more fit than I am, I'll tell you that much. Another shot fired by Milwaukee. And it's blocked there inside the box by Sachs. And down hard on the shoulder by Irvine. As Boyers went down hard. Now it'll be a free kick. Left quarter kick. The pass is put in a little bit too quickly as Bennett tried to get them. So they have to be careful in that respect. But they still down two goals. Bennett now with the pass to Delinsky. Delinsky fires another deflection inside the box, but Boyers cannot control it. Milwaukee still does have it as Delinsky picks it up left wing. Less under the arc, passes inside the box, the block there by Sachs. Now out to Walters. Walters now across the half line, picked up there by Delinsky. Delinsky trying to jump over Walters to get the position. Timmy still controlling. He'll drop it off to Peter Rowe. 145 and Johnny now in the fourth quarter. Legs now moving along the boards. Passes to Walters inside the wave territory on the right wing. He'll back pedal at the midfield. Now send it down inside the wave territory to Wags. Little keep away action now by the Tampa Bay Ronnies. Peter Rowe there tries to get the pass. It's blocked there by Milwaukee. Dropped off the Bennett. Now controlled there by Myers inside the box. Milwaukee controlling. That's Lee Rogers trying to make his way down the boards, and the foul is going to be called against the Rowdies. That will be the fourth team foul on Tampa. 3 1 the score. 1 18 left to go. Delinsky with the shot fire from way out near the red line on the left wing. Brought here by the Rowdies. Now regained control by Milwaukee. Delinsky down on the ground. Try to flip it with both feet. Well, he's down in the midfield. And right there to pick it up the sixth attacker for the Milwaukee Wing. He'll drop it off quickly to Kinesic. Now on the far side of Louis Bennett. 57 seconds left to go. Louis Bennett with a pass off the boards. Hit a roll it outside the box. Milwaukee still regained control. Bennett drops it left side. Left side of the box to Delinsky. He'll pass top side of Kinesic near the top of the arc. Knocked out of there by Irvine on Kinesic's shot. Marsh and Kinesic go down. And I think Kinesic has really hurt his right hand. Marsh went down. They've got their legs intertwined. The foul is going to go against the Milwaukee Wings. Kinesic down and still on the ground. But they are going to be a man down here in the final 41 seconds of this one. With that, we're going to take ourselves a 30-second timeout. Rowdy's leading the Milwaukee Way by a score of 3-1. to one. Uh, 
to me like it was Moyers, number nine, and that it was. So Steve Moyers scores with 14 seconds left to go. It's still 3-2 Rowdies. Any rowdy team in history here. To see him play the way they did the same. It's a little bit frustrating. Two seconds left to go. One second, and that will do it. The Tampa Bay Rowdies have swept the series against Milwaukee for the season. They win all six games. The Rowdies in pretty wave two. We're going to take this two-minute timeout and be back with the Budweiser Player of the Game. You're listening to Rowdy Soccer here on News Radio 97 WFLA. 